Let's be real, Daredevil Born Again is the most important upcoming MCU project. Not the next two Avengers films, not Fantastic Four, not X-Men, and not Deadpool 3. It's Daredevil Born Again for many reasons. First, it will officially bridge the gap between the Marvel Netflix street-level shows to the main MCU while opening new street-level storytelling for the MCU. And they really have to put into context of where the hell these Marvel Netflix characters have been during the MCU. Especially during the blip. Motherfuckers like Kingpin was in jail a second ago. And now he's out and about in Hawkeye and Echo. And Matt must be shitting his pants. Next, the main reason why Daredevil Born Again is so important is because if they manage to match the quality of the OG Netflix series, it'll be one of the most impressive accomplishments in the MCU. If not the most impressive accomplishment in the MCU. And I'll stand on that. No glazing shit, but being able to match the near perfect quality and sincerity of Netflix's Daredevil while being a reasonable continuation with these characters that we love, building its own unique story in the process is a dream come true for non Daredevil fans and Daredevil fans. For non Daredevil fans, it'll prove more mature audiences that the MCU can make and offer top tier TVMA television. That's what the Netflix series offered. And for those Daredevil fans, it'll make this way to revive Daredevil so worth it. Leading to so much excitement for the future for Daredevil as a character and the entire MCU, especially street level wise. Honestly beating the superhero fatigue allegations. Now if this goes to shit, this will not be a good look for the MCU whatsoever. But for us, we will at least have the first three seasons of the OG Daredevil to wash down Daredevil Born Again, if it's truly that shit. But with most of the cast coming back and a promising crew behind it, I'm very cautiously optimistic for Daredevil Born Again. So yeah, here's hoping that Daredevil Born Again isn't shit and is in fact the most glorious shit I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. All I'm asking for Daredevil Born Again is to be on par with Daredevil Season 2. I feel like that's the bare minimum because that's the OG's weakest season, which is still a good season of TV, but it is a tad messy, juggling a lot of storylines that really don't all land at once. So anything below Daredevil Season 2 would be a serious disappointment. I'm really hoping for the best and preparing for the worst.